Good evening guys. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. Um, as always, thank you very much for sending me your comments and uh, questions. And uh, some of you have been asking about different things and uh, I want to discuss them. Please send me your comments always. Today I want to talk about uh, Nocardia asteroides. Nocardia asteroides is uh, a commonly tested question in uh, USML examination. So let us see some of the most common points that we need to know while preparing for this exam. First of all, let us see the pathology of this organism and the distribution. These are uh, aerobes. They are not anaerobes. They are aerobes mostly found in environment, especially the soil. And uh, people who are immunocompetent, they do not get this infection. But immunocompromised people, when they handle this soil uh, around their neighborhoods, they get this infection. Nocardia species, embryologically, or sorry, morphologically, they are branching, and you can find them as gram positive and weakly acid fast. I say weakly acid fast because the regular hydrochloric acid you use to stain mycobacteria, you see mycobacterium tuberculosis, mycobacterium lepra, those are strongly acid fast bacteria. But Nocardia asteroides and Nocardia brasiliensis, they are not strongly acid fast, they are only weakly acid fast. So that's an important point. And the two most commonly encountered organisms are Nocardia asteroides and Nocardia brasiliensis. And they do not have sulfur granules. You see, Actinomyces israeli, it has sulfur granules. But Nocardia asteroides, it does not have sulfur granules. Now, how do the people get infection? First of all, they get a pulmonary infection. And the pulmonary infection then go, go into the brain, causing the brain abscesses. They go to the skin and the lung uh, and the kidneys. And uh, how do you diagnose this problem? They are, as I said, they are gram-positive, weakly acid fast. And if you use bacteriologic media, you can grow these organisms in a few days. And treatment. Treatment of nocardia is with... Uh, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, that is Bactrim DS. You can also use surgical drainage when there are uh, uh, internal collection of this organism. There is no vaccine, there is no prophylaxis. So let me give you some tips. Whenever you see a lung infection plus brain abscess and an organism is there, then always think of nocardia. Whenever a lung infection and a brain abscess. That's nocardia. And we use Bactrim to treat this particular organism. That's about nocardiosis. Please send me. If you have any other important points, please post them on our comment section so others can uh, learn about them. Okay, thank you very much. Please visit us at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. And also, uh, if you are preparing for USML clinical skills examination, I recommend uh, uh, reading this book. This is USML Smasher. This book is excellently written with uh, patient encounters and exactly what cases you encounter in your examination. So please get this book, USML Smasher. It's available on Amazon and Barnes Noble and many other websites. So get this book and uh, prepare well for your examination. Thank you very much. All the best on your examination.